YouTube, Prim the Koala here, and today I'm going to talk you through a male beginner's bodybuilding workout routine. This routine is designed to build strength, build muscle, whilst also lowering fat. And I have my lovely assistant, Billy, over here, who is going to show you through all the five compound exercises that I'm going to take you through today. muscles in your legs and in your gluteus maximus. You want to do the squat first because it's the most, it's the exercise that requires most of your energy. So we're just going to go ahead and add our little T-Rex fingers, cover the bar just like this. And we're going to have Billy go under the bar. The bar should be right where his shoulders are, where his traps are. And he's going to go ahead, lift it up, walk in a little bit, shoulder width apart, shins perpendicular to the ground, shoulder blades clenched together, back straight, and he's going to go ahead and drive from his heels, and back up, drive from heels, and back up, making sure that your shoulder blades clenched together, your feet shoulder width apart, your back is straight at all times, and you lead with your gluteus maximus. Now, like Billy, if you find this exercise too easy for you, because we're only using the bar here, you might want to add a couple 10 plates, maybe even 20. So we're going to go ahead and do that. The perfect muscle building range for males is set to be between 6 and 12 reps. So the first, the first set should be around 12 reps. The second set should be 10 reps with a little bit more weight. He's going to go ahead and demonstrate that for us now. Nice. And then as you progress with your sets, your weight increases whilst reducing the reps. All right. How'd that feel, Billy? That was okay. So the second compound exercise I'm going to take you through is the bench press. The bench press works the entire chest, so Billy's just going to go ahead, lie down for us. At the moment we have no weight on the bar, so we want to make sure we get the form right. Billy's going to have a, a little bit wider than shoulder with the part grip, right about there, wherever you're comfortable. Go ahead and elevate the bar. Make sure your elbows are a little bit tucked by your side to prevent injuries and we're just gonna slowly lower it down to the chest and back up again. Lower it down and back up again. Now for the first set, you might wanna do this for 12 reps with no weight, make sure your form is good. And then with each set, you add on a little bit of weight and reduce the rep count depending on your ability. All right, we're gonna stack this. I'm gonna go ahead and get Billy some 10 plates. Billy's a little bit more capable than, than that. And we're going to go ahead and do 10 reps for the second set. As you progress, you get stronger. You might want to start with three sets first if you're a beginner. You gradually increase the weight each time. Sorry. And there we go. Let's stack it again. Alright guys, so the third compound muscle building exercise is the deadlift. The deadlift works the entire back as well as the hamstrings and it's one of the heaviest lifts that you can perform. Now, Billy's going to go ahead and demonstrate to us how this works. Just like the squat, but now we have our hands shoulder width apart as well. We have the shins perpendicular to the ground, 
the back clenched together like a squat, and we have the chest out at all times. Billy's gonna go ahead and lower the bar right above his toes, keep it there, touch the ground, and back up again, keeping, making sure that his back is straight at all times. Now, like Billy, you can pack a bit more weight, so we're just gonna go ahead and add tens on each side. Legs bent on the initial movement. He comes up, sticks his chest out, clenching his back together, and lowering down, bending his knees. His knees staying behind his toes as he lifts. There you go. And that is how you perform the deadlift. So the fourth exercise I'm going to show you is a wide grip pull-up. The wide grip pull-up activates the lats, which is the biggest muscle group, on your back. Billy's just going to go ahead, jump up, get that wide grip. And this is this movement's very simple. You have your you you basically pull up and you contract your lats so your body is straight. And you try to reduce your swinging movements to make sure you concentrate on the lats. Now, if you're a beginner and you find this exercise too difficult, your partner, if you have a partner, can cross his legs and just basically help him push up to get that, get those good reps in. Now, when you do this exercise, you want to perform a pyramid method. So, you do six reps, maybe, in, on your first set, increase that to seven, and on your last set, or fourth set, increase to ten, or as how many you can do. And that is how you properly work the lats, get that muscle group, bring it up, and develop it. Alright guys, so the fifth compound exercise I'm going to take you through is called a dip. The dip primarily works the horseshoe of the tricep, as well as a bit of the lower chest. We're going to go ahead and perform it for you. Billy's got his hands on the dip bar. He's going to lift himself up. His legs are straight and he's going to come down with his, with his uh, forearms. His forearms slightly flaring out and he's going to push back up as soon as he hits 90 degrees on his elbows. Again, you can perform this in a, using a pyramid method, just like the pull-ups. Start with six reps, rest 45 seconds, bump that up to seven reps, and on your last set, max out. All right, Billy? That's good. All right, guys. So those are the five compound main muscle building and strength building exercises that I recommend for beginners. You can do this routine maybe three, four times a week with a rest day in between each, each uh, working day. And that's all I have for you. Peace. Oh, Billy, it's, it's your wife, Sandra. Hello, Sally Sandra. Oh, shit, this. No. Yes? Oh.